In this tutorial, we're going to look at the picker. Let's create a new JavaFX project. I'm using Java 16.0.1 with the JavaFX SDK 16. Okay, um, we are going to add JavaFX SDK library. That's where I save JavaFX SDK library. Okay. Let's open FXML in Zen Builder. Copy. Let's remove. Then um, I'm going to use an anchor pane. Take picker. Then uh, one text area. Let's look at preview. So you can select any date. Today is 23rd June. Sorry, 23rd May. Then uh, when we click OK button, then there will be added to text area. So let's set one button. Um, let me just use the initial day picker. Okay. Just convenient. Let me use a uh, button. And the uh, BTN OK. So text area, TA summary. Okay, make sure I have a controller. Link with the project. Save it. Let's add the data field. TA summary, okay, one more. PTN, okay. So let's add one event handler. Let's change the private. Let's add a Java annotation. So when we click OK button, we can add um, data from uh, date picker. So we can use a get value, which is going to be a, a date format. So let's add a new line. It will be convert to string value. Let's add the VM options. It 
add models, JavaFX controls, and then um, JavaFX FXMA. So 20 south, okay, year, month, and date. Okay, same as your system format. Less of them are just uh, methods uh, belongs to date picker. So we can have a gap value, gap year, which is going to be 2021. Of course, we can get a uh, month. We can get a uh, month's value between uh, number 1 as of January uh, until number 12, which is uh, December. Uh, get months, we will return a um, full name of the month, January, until December. So let me uh, continue. There are some other useful methods belongs to the picker. So we have a year, month, and then a day. Okay, day of month. Then uh, here we can add plus day. So if we have uh, some sort of rental business, uh, we can say um, the item is due next seven days. We can say seven. Then uh, it's going to say uh, 23 plus seven. We can do the same thing using uh, plus weeks. So one week, that will be exactly the same as a plus day seven. So it's going to return the same value, okay? Of course, we can say um, that is uh, uh, one month later. Some, uh, uh, some sort of rental service is due next month. Then we like to print a due date. So simply we can say plus month one. So in this case, uh, some sort of loan is due 10 years time. We can say years. Then we can put number 10. Okay, uh, one more to go. Sometimes we can format. Okay, instead of saying uh, year, month, day, we can change to months, day, and year. Use uh, format. Then we can use a uh, date, time, formatter. Then there is a format called op pattern. I'm going to use a capital M, lowercase d, and then lowercase top y, 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 y. Of course, there are more methods, but this is the um, most common uh, method, belongs to the picker. 
Okay, let's have a look how it's going to be uh, look like. So let me just add uh, some comments. In this case, get a year value, of course, 2021. Uh, one more, uh, get the day of the uh, month. Twenty third, okay. So let's say, um, okay. Let me move to left hand side so you can see. So if you just say get value, it's going to return today, May twenty third, and then that's going to return year, months. Get value, twenty three. That's going to be um, adding seven days, so that will be sorry. Next one is exactly the same, but using uh, plus weeks method. Next one adding one month, so that will be uh, June twenty third. Okay, next one is uh, ten years later, so twenty thirty one. You can change the format to be. Uh, months and day and then year. That's all. Thank you.